<laughs> That's really thrown me. I've never been asked that before. You want me to say it again? <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah. I first came in contact with love when I worked on the first ever Frequency Festival. It was just so fab. Just to give young people that opportunity and get them really excited about the arts and culture in Lincolnshire and see that there's things like happening on their doorstep in venues near them that they can really access. It's a really thriving uh, creative and cultural community and the Lincolnshire One venues are at the heart of that. Lincoln Arts Centre within the wider part of Lincolnshire is really important. Lincolnshire is huge and there's lots of arts opportunities but they're kind of spread all over the county a little bit. Having Lincolnshire One venues helps to connect these organisations together and helps us to grow as a company because we get to work with these other organisations as well as the arts sector on a whole in Lincolnshire. The Hub has been part of it from the very, very beginning. It's been years of, of opportunities and benefits that have really built our capacity across the team here and the work that we've been able to do in the community. Right from the early days where we were working with young people to very recently working with different community groups um, in our local area as well. And it's just widened that reach and engagement that we, we probably wouldn't have been able to do on our own. The Collection Museum is situated in the heart of Lincoln's Cultural Quarter. We have the Creative Collective here based in Lincoln. We've been working with Boston College and Lincolnshire One Venues have been running a similar group for us over there called the Boston Creative Collective. We've had them come and visit the collection thanks to Lincolnshire One Venues and I know that the students that engage in that project have really benefited from those visits. Lincolnshire One Venues gave us a grant in 2022 to organise creative events within Stanford Arts Centre and around town. And we used that funding to bring a lot of new art into the venue and the mentoring really helped us organise the event. It's absolutely invaluable to have that resource of a network like the Love Group. And I think without the group together as a whole, sharing that knowledge and sharing that passion for the arts, we would struggle. I think we would struggle to sustain the amount of revenue we need to create in a year to keep the building going, and also to sustain the wants from our audiences to keep coming to see the shows and productions we put on. South Holland Centre is important to Spalding because it brings the community together. We provide opportunities for the young people in the area to experience their first theatrical performances and we also provide opportunities for our older residents to enjoy cinema matinees and other ways in which we can bring everybody together. Despite recent challenges, with the support of the Love Network, we are proud that we're going to be able to provide a continued programme of live events and cultural activities for the community that otherwise would not be available to them. The most important thing the community gets out of the Guildhall, I think, is the opportunities that it provides. So whether that is community groups using the venue for their productions or things like disco toddlers where it's families and children. And then obviously the pantomime, we have lots of opportunities through all the ages. There is something for everybody here. The collection and the usher are really important spaces for the people of Lincolnshire. It gives them a place to come that's free and to connect with art. There are exhibitions, so it gives people a chance to see objects that they wouldn't usually get access to. We know that people do visit the town because of their visit to the hub and, and we work with, with multiple partners um, across the town centre as well to, to really bring in together this kind of collective effort to, to really make Sleaford a special place. So Lyth River Head Theatre, I think it's important to the Lyth community and the wider community. We stage so many different things here for so many different ilks of people. Pantomime, obviously, that we, you can see behind me. We also stage comedy nights here. We have bands here. We try and put things on and shows on that will generate a want to come in and a desire to come in and support the arts for every single person that lives in Lyth and beyond. 
Stamford Arts Centre is a really vibrant, busy arts centre for Stamford. We're programming some fantastic stuff for the rest of the year and into 2024. Our customers are happy to see us back open and I think generally there's a lot of confidence again. Collaboration is a huge thing for us. We're wanting to move away from the idea that we are just for students and just for the university. We're here for the communities around Lincoln and Lincolnshire. We're really excited to push forward with Lincolnshire One Venues and the surrounding organisations to work together and help bring Lincolnshire on the map in the arts sector.